Because people, whatever classes, give it to me. She is a very well experienced. Uh, I don't know how many people know how good she is uh, as an optometrician. And uh, she is a great one. And uh, there are many people <laughs> can talk about that. And uh, she is the one who started the eye care project, uh, providing not only providing glasses but uh, checking them and making sure they get the right prescription. And she continued to do that for a very long time. And this is the one I talked about, the Grafton Farm service. The Grafton Farm is not only that it's a farm area and the, the produce from this farm area goes to homeless shelters. This is not a profit or making thing. Whomever founded this farm, who was actually given the farm for growing all this uh, produce, uh, this is uh, naturally grown produce, and mostly they use only organic growth, uh, not to use too much of uh, other fertilizers. Uh, now there is so much going on about GMO and other things. So these had the, the excellent foundation to grow all the produce organically. So we were part of that. And the other important thing about the Grafton Center is they had a big hall. And uh, for a few years we used to conduct our uh, November Akanta Pajan in that hall and they used to, they gave that hall free of charge uh, and uh, thanks to the Shrewsbury Sai Center people to have found this place uh, and continue to do their service activities. So it is not only providing service uh, by providing the produce to the recipients but also helping the mother nature. The Srishti part comes into play. Please plant a project 2008. Uh, here you can see those uh, the mittens and the woolen hats and uh, these are the ones mostly produced by Lakshmi and uh, Shah and K and other devotees uh, and they continue to do that. Green efforts, the saving mother yet by reducing our carbon footprint. Painting project, Raju is and doing that and doing the painting. <coughs> In a small level, they were doing that. So, as I hear, I was saying that uh, the Chemsworth Science Center was before it's called as Billerica Science Center, and well before that, it was Westford Science Center. <laughs> And it officially became a Sai Center in 1995. From 84 to 95, mostly what we were doing was the uh, budget singing and the uh, study circle. That's all. Nothing more was happening. By 1995, <coughs> Srinivasan uncle and Prema Dai decided that. Something need to be said about this uh, service project from the Thamesford Science Center, which was originally called Westford Science Center. So, as I mentioned, 84 to 95, they were doing only bhajans and uh, study circles. And uh, Srinivasan and uh, Prema, they were saying that uh, we have been doing bhajans, but uh, and the, the only consolation we had was, oh, we are not an official science center, so we don't have to follow some of the guidelines which was uh, put forth by the the USA Satya Sai organization to be really called as a Satya Sai organization. So what we thought that is we need to one day we will become a Sai center. So in order to become a Sai center, we need to have a service wing, we need to do some service there. The biggest challenge at that time was, I don't know how many people know about it, the Pularika or the Westward Sai center people, most of them are from South India. Few from the other part of, I mean, majority are South India. Later we had some uh, other local people, Americans joined that center. But at that time, it's all South Indian people. The only thing we knew back then was tamarind rice, lemon rice, dahi rice, and uh, all other, vada, payasam, those are the things that. So we were kind of scratching our head. How do we go aboard and serve it going into an American uh, soup kitchen or a shelter? that what do we provide them, or do we provide them tamarind rice, how would they receive it, how would they receive it. So that, there was, this was always going on in the back of our mind, how do we start. 
So the, the real thanks and gratitude goes to Mr. P. R. Srinivasan. And Mr. P. R. Srinivasan went and uh, remember there was no there was <coughs> no internet or anything like that. He somehow found uh, the recipe to make a macaroni and cheese and uh, vegetarian lasagna. So when we went to the center, when we told him what we were going to serve, he said we are going to serve a vegetarian lasagna. The very first response from the residents of the shelter was that vegetarian lasagna, what is it? How can you make a lasagna without meat? Why I'm saying that is in, uh, when we started serving the vegetarian lasagna, there was a gentleman who was dropping up some of the leftover food from a restaurant and he came around and asked him, who is the chef? Who is the chef here? He said, okay, this is Mr. Srinivasan there. He said, man, you know what? I'm owner of an Italian restaurant there. I make lasagna and other things. I make a lot of Italian food, but I never tasted a vegetarian lasagna is good. Could you please give me the recipe for the vegetarian lasagna so that I can serve with other people? It was so good. I couldn't believe it that lasagna could taste this well. So that shows the kind of work uh, what was done by Mr. Srinivas. And here is the macaroni cheese. Uh, so we make about seven trays for that. And uh, back to school project, Nashua School. This is uh, uh, mostly collecting all the, the school supplies. Same thing. And uh, I would like to take this moment to just thank uh, Mr. Srinivasan and late uh, Prema Srinivasan. Because uh, before we started that Prema and Srinivasan themselves, in, actually as an individual member, they were doing so much work to the town of Villarica and they used to collect uh, clothes, other things from uh, Walmart for a very cheap price. And as a members, uh, we used to contribute something, only money, but they did all the work. Uh, the kind of work they both did uh, at, uh, back in 1994, the town of uh, Villarica conferred uh, the hero of the town for uh, Prima Srinivas and here you can see. The thing is, uh, she is no longer because she reached the lotus feet of uh, our Sai Krishna. Just about 10 days ago. So. Yeah, and it's October 28th of this year. That's when uh, the amazing thing is we were practicing for the Akanda Bhajan and uh, we were practicing the one bhajan she would love it. She used to sing the Karuna Sadhani Ma. We were uh, singing that bhajan right after the end of the bhajan. Ravi received, uh, Ravi Dakla received a message from Srinivas that uh, Prema reached the divine abode of Swami. It was uh, such a perfect uh, coincidence that it happened. It's the same thing, she is uh, Prema receiving the local hero award. Okay, <clears throat> then it goes to the Nagpur Osai Center that uh, you can see the different things. The same thing, when the new center forms, it's very difficult to start the service project. As I mentioned, that is, there is always some apprehension. How do you go about in the society and uh, start contributing? What, how would be received? So when uh, Swami says, you take the first step, then I take care of the rest. So and uh, Murti Cheru always used to quote the Swami's that, uh, you give your, uh, <coughs> actually availability, I'll give you the ability. And this is, these are all the proof of how the different Sahi centers would perform the service activities. Thresholds, how many people know about this particular program? I don't know. <clears throat> the important thing about that is that the sad news is that out of all developed countries in the world, USA stands first in the number of people incarcerated in a country. It's amazing, such a developed country with so much that is. This country, the amazingly, is the number one country where the number of people incarcerated there. So incarceration doesn't uh, rehabilitate the people and providing the right self-esteem. This is a threshold program was uh, basically its base foundation is to provide them the self-esteem. And uh, Murti Charu originally started uh, this uh, Sai Center becoming part of the threshold program. And uh, thanks to Lord Burrow Centers, uh, they took it to heart and they are the first center to start this particular program.
and uh, people in Peru. And, uh, you can see they were, that is the first uh, soup kitchen where they started serving uh, the food for the, the residents of the shelter. <coughs> Again, if you look at the previous one, a lot of children, it's so amazing to see them participating in the service activities. Whitney's place and, and how many people recognize these people, Atulita right there. <laughs> Satya and Vedam, you can now I know Vedam is in India studying their little kid, Prashanti. And the Grafton Farm, and thanks to them, they only originally started the Grafton Farm project. Sandwich cookie baking there. I didn't know that they were good in baking uh, cookies. If I had known that, I would have participated in that program. I had some cookies too. <laughs> That's okay. Halloween at the Whitney's place in 2000. These are recent pictures. Again, Narwood Science Center. You know, that Narwood Science uh, it was uh, originally started at uh, Shanta Sharangamani's place. Uh, again, as every shelter, when they start that, it's very difficult to start a service project. And they had a simple sandwich to mainstream homeless shelter and soup kitchen project was initiated. And here is uh, they are making sandwiches to be distributed. Most of the participants, if you see, there is a lot of young children again. That is good to see our SSC children are really an actual part of the service activities of all science centers. Again, a food pantry project. Scarborough Main Center Sandwich Project. Again, these are all small centers that you can imagine that when the Boston Center in the 1990s, when this center was just being formed, they already had enough experience doing other work. So basically, whatever they could do, as Swami said, in whatever capacity you can do, please do the service, start there. Then I will give you the chances and the expertise to expand from where you can start. So these are the examples of the Christmas Veterans Home, similar thing, going there and singing Christmas carols for all the residents of the nursing home. 